a horrific case from Telangana where a botched up family planning operation that took place on the 25th of August in which uh, four women who underwent uh, sterilization out of 34 have actually died. Kargi, very, very tragic news coming in. Uh, they went through this uh, procedure which is called, in fact, uh, double puncture laparoscopy or DPL and those are the women who have died. The incident happened at the civil hospital in Ibrahim uh, Patnam and we have our colleague uh, Uma joining us to get us more details on this. Right, Uma, if you could tell us, this was a mass uh, operation, one of those family planning camps and, and, and out of this now four women have died. Yes, indeed, Gargi. This is a very uh, worrisome inc uh, incident that's happened on the 25th of August. And uh, in fact, it was on uh, uh, the uh, public health director, Dr. Srinivas Rao, has now ordered an inquiry to find out why exactly this has happened. Nine of those women, uh, other than the four who died, have in fact been shifted to hospitals in Hyderabad uh, for observation. And uh, what exactly happened, not yet clear, but uh, tensions clearly running very high in the area because... Uh, this is something that uh, people are convinced is good thing for them and therefore, uh, you know, they are kind of counseled and taken into these operations. And these are perfectly healthy women who have given birth to children who may have decided that they will not have, uh, do not want to have any more children. And that's the reason they opt for this procedure, which is um, obviously not something that is medically required, but they do it in the interest of uh, keeping their family size limited. As you know, uh, Gargi, uh, in India, in fact, uh, 98% of the uh, sterilizations that happen uh, for family planning happen uh, targeting women and in this case as well uh, women and there have been protests in the area following uh, the watch up that's happened and the lives that have been lost, tensions running high. Even the uh, you know team that went in to give compensation to the families that lost uh, uh, the women, uh, they were in fact attacked and uh, uh, they had to be in fact uh, taken away very quickly uh, to safety. So. Uh, the administration trying to explain to the people that something has gone wrong and people will pay the price. The civil hospital uh, superintendent, in fact, has been suspended for the time being. Uma, the State Human Rights Commission has ordered uh, an inquiry and a report uh, by the 10th of October. Yes, indeed. This is something that has uh, larger implications because, uh, you know, safety of women undergoing these kind of procedures and much more importantly, the uh, faith in the public health system, that's something that uh, the government cannot afford to have shaken at all. And therefore, uh, they have uh, instituted this inquiry, which will uh, hopefully get to the bottom of this. What really went wrong? Was there uh, any kind of, a, um, you know, uh, uh, disposables that were used that had some kind of an infection because of which these deaths happened? Uh, the doctor also under uh, suspension and inquiry, the person who carried out these uh, surgeries. But of course, the state government will also have to answer the State Human Rights Commission in this case by the 10th of October. Right, Uman, a huge setback to, you know, any sort of family planning uh, activity, counselling in that area. And this is not the first time this has happened in India, if I remember correctly, Uma, a few years ago in Chhattisgarh as well, there was this massive uh, family planning camp in which again women were sterilised and at that time I, I think around 10 to 11 women had died. Uh, so this is an issue, you know, post-operative care, all these issues come into it and uh, again I, an inquiry is going to be held into this one as well. Yes, indeed. The government usually take uh, these vaccination drives and the family planning drives very seriously because any kind of a watch up or any kind of a uh, uh, you know, something going wrong really sets back the program uh, tremendously because public faith gets uh, shaken and that's the reason why uh, they would be very uh, uh, concerned about what has happened other than the fact that of course this is very very serious that four lives have been uh, lost uh, post this operation and they've all been uh, linked to the surgery that happened and possibly an infection or something else that happened during the operation because of which uh, these deaths have happened. Uh, uh, I would not say they occur commonly. These are rare occurrences, of course, uh, that yeah. a family planning operation uh, goes wrong. But uh, getting to the bottom of it is uh, uh, right now very, very important so that uh, public you know, faith in the, uh, you know, these kind of uh, camps that happen or surgeries that happen, which have very often come in for criticism because uh, targeting women for family planning is something that's uh, been criticized, of family, uh, you know, uh, as, a, as a measure. And right now, uh, the kind of figures that we have uh, for the population growth may not warrant something like this. But these are options that are given to people so that they can contain their family size. And something like this going wrong in a government hospital is certainly 
a matter of big concern. And finally, Uma, we're seeing visuals of, you know, a, a huge crowd has gathered, people are speaking, lots of women and men are sitting there. As you said, there is a, a, some amount of anger and tension in the area. Yes, indeed. Uh, there are political parties and leaders who, uh, who you know, with, who kind of uh, help organize these kind of protests. Of course, they also uh, vent the public anger in that area because they require answers and there is anger after the death of four women uh, uh, in the opera surgery that happened on the 25th of uh, August. So uh, the local administration and the ministers trying to assuage uh, people and tell them that, uh, y yes, something has wrong, gone wrong and uh, action will be taken suitably for this.